get some perspective on that from Kevin Hassett. He's a, a former senior Fed economist who's also John McCain's economic advisor in the 2008 presidential campaign. He's director of economic policy studies at the American Enterprise Institute in Washington. Kevin, welcome to the show. Uh, did the Fed chairman just make the decision to become a political player? Yeah, I think this was a more political speech than I ever anticipated that Ben Bernanke would give. If you recall, back during his confirmation hearings, he basically said it's the job of the Fed chairman to stay out of fiscal policy disputes. But I think that he's kind of feeling like he's out of ammo on the monetary policy uh, front, or almost out of ammo, and that fiscal policy needs to get fixed and fast. And so there was some urgency, really, in the tone. If, if you want to fast forward to the bottom of his speech, uh, someone who's listening, go down and look at the last two or three paragraphs. And he's really saying, come on, guys grow up. We've got to get fiscal policy right, and it's not right. Right. I mean, specifically, he lays out, you know, a tax policy, trade policy, regulatory policy, work on a skilled workforce, productive investment, and uh, talks about the educational system uh, as well here. I mean, I'm here, I'm Wall Street, Kevin, and there's not a lot of faith in Washington to improve the economy, given the showdown we just went through. Is this an unrealistic hope? Yeah, in fact, I would even say that that was the most stunning part of the speech, was when he basically said, you know, what we went through last summer was just unacceptable. I mean, that was a, a paraphrase, but, but he went specifically into the debt limit negotiation and said that that scared markets and, and so on, and, and, so, and, that, and that policymakers need to find a way to work together. We maybe need a new mechanism to do that. I, I think that he really inserted himself into the fiscal policy debate, and it must be because he as a man thinks that it's crucial that we get this right or that we're going to head down into recession. So I kind of view it as a negative speech. He was basically crying for help more than anything else. Really? I mean, you're a former Fed mm -hmm. economist. How much conversation mm -hmm. happens pre-speech uh, with, say, the White House? I mean, we know that the president's about to give this major speech on jobs on September the 5th. Is, you know, the Fed chairman avoiding front-running yeah. the president, essentially? You know, I, I think it, it depends on uh, each Fed chairman and each White House, but usually I would think that they would, you know, convey the night before uh, to the White House what they're going to say. Uh, whether they worked closely with them to coordinate messages is an open question, but I really doubt it. I, I think that Bernanke was not being a political player in the sense that he wasn't saying, oh, those darn congressional Republicans are, you know, harming our wonderful president, nothing like that at all. He was just basically saying, guys, we need to get serious. And I think that uh, President Obama has a chance to be serious in the speech that he's going to give, but he's going to have to completely change his tone and, and change his policies, because what he's been doing so far is sticking to his Keynesian guns, something right. that really infuriates the Republicans. Well, in many ways, uh, maybe the Fed chairman's doubling down on the super committee, right? In, in, in emphasizing to them, you have to get serious about making some changes in terms of what gets cut, what gets funded, where tax policy goes going forward. Yeah, that's right. I, I think when we look at the uh, super committee, then we guess that it's probably going to be a misnomer, uh, that they're going to be gridlocked and not achieve anything. And I think Bernanke is really saying, guys, if that happens, if the super committee ends up looking like what we saw last summer with the debt limit, then it's really a big problem for the economy. I think that that's really the subtext of his speech. So what needs to happen realistically uh, in terms of job policy, in terms of the super committee? Yeah, I think that realistically what has to happen is that they have to go after the third rail. They have to uh, reduce entitlements in the long run, uh, restore some kind of fiscal sanity, and maybe have a tax reform as well. Broaden the base, lower the rates, give people a reason to be optimistic again. If the super committee punts, then I think Bernanke's telling us that he's not sure that in the near term the outlook's going to be very good at all. And that puts us in a hold your breath through the end of this year. Um, th th tremendous. Kevin yeah. Hassett, thank you so much. American Enterprise Institute.